house is painted gray. I always say graystone and it's bluestone. Anyway, it's just too many fucking rules. Like, okay. And it's just, oh, I don't know. She, she seems, and what irritates me the most about Dorinda is like, I used to like Dorinda when she drank and did cocaine, allegedly. Like in New York City with John, she was much like fun, lighter. At the Bluestone, it's just like, oh, don't walk in the house. Don't touch anything. Don't put this here. Don't, let me get this. Let me get my mate. You know, it's just like you, have you ever stayed at someone's house like that where you're just like, oh, I can't wait to fucking get out of here because they- I have. They are so anal retentive about their home. To me, I I feel for those women. I'm like, oh. But she still so has like it when she's making her points. It still is like, huh? Dorinda, like, what's that word? Like this, I still hear the slurring. I still hear old totally school Dorinda like slurring when she's like. I don't but know. Do like, think, I just. Okay, do you think Dorinda looks good? I feel like Dorinda's a little bit of a shell of herself. Like. There isn't a lot of glam. There's not a lot. I don't know. I just feel like what's happened to Dorinda over. I don't know. Is it me? I mean, I, I don't know. I think she's, she's, I'm really enjoying her second right after Phaedra. I'm like, she's, I don't know. She just is effortless in these one liners <laughs> to me. And I have to say now that Andy Cohen has brought it up, and put it in my mind, because Andy's now put it there, part of me almost gives Tamara the third best, but I have to say, I, I, I also can't watch Tamara at all. I am so now aware of her in this podcast, thanks to Andy Cohn. Oh, really? It's oh, like, funny. it's, 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 yeah, I can't describe it. I can't describe it. it. It's like, in a way, I'm like, she's my third most ultimate but then in a way that would be Brandy instead, but not really Brandy. Brandy's just having some good moments. And I don't know, now I'm aware that Tamara is aware. Do you know what I mean? Not that yeah. the others are not aware, but I'm aware that Tamara is aware and all of this is going to be talked about on a podcast. I don't know. It, it's I see Andy's point. Okay, Brandy has a podcast too, like we talked about, but it's, it's just, it's different. Brandy's podcast isn't just talking about housewives. I don't know. It's Andy okay. Cohn's fault. It's it's like Andy Cohn's fault Andy's that, that I'm fault. saying this. Okay. It's I I think it's I think it's really really good. Um, you know, it is it's it's definitely like a great combination of people. Um, and wait, now how many episodes is it though? Because the fourth episode dropped yesterday, so the new episodes come out every Thursday. So it's more than three. Initially, we thought it was three, but it's like how is it five uh, or six? I thought it was like eight. Oh, I think oh, it's okay. like they said eight days. I think because if you notice it, it's each, I think every episode is a day. Okay. I think okay. Every, and then to me, like, just to go back to your other point, like Jill is, and this is a, not an insult. Jill is the one to me that is Jill and Taylor. Jill's ultimate, of course. It's Taylor that's the least ultimate. But Jill and Taylor are kind of fading into the background. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel Jill is really behaving herself. She's yeah, really she is. like- just yeah. fading and I, that, I, I get it. And it's just, it's, but I'm a little shocked. Maybe I thought like we'd have more drama from her. I don't know. I feel like each person's personality is kind of there. Like I'm not, I guess Eva's maybe the most shocking, but maybe not because I had her on my show and I knew that she was like this. So. Oh, I love it. So, but listen, we're going to keep watching. Um, oh, and who do you think is the thirstiest to get back on their shows? I see mine would have been Dorinda. I feel like Dorinda and Vicky, it's a tie. I feel like that's why they, to me, it's so obvious why Vicky and Dorinda clash. Cause they're like the same person. They're completely the same person. Um, and they are both, they both want back so bad, I think. And I mean, I think Vicky is like, I think that's why Vicky is like starting all that shit. And I mean, Vicky's been in the press over the past month. I mean, if I have to say anything, I feel like Vicky's winning. Like, in a way, you kind of want Vicky to come back because don't we want to see her date again? She's so thirsty to get married after Steve. I think it's such a tie for Vicky and Dorenda. Jill said she thought, on Watch What Happens, Vicky's the most thirstiest to get back on the show. Totally. Brandy said it was Jill sitting next to Jill. And she, this is why I love Brandy. She just, she was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And then she said Dorinda second. I would say, I think 
I think it's Jill. I mean, it's not in a bad way. She just wants back. And I think it's Vicky second. That's, I would say that. I okay. mean, listen, I think they, they're all thirsty. They all want back on their show totally. or not. But I would say Jill wants it the most. Guess what? It's going to happen for Jill. She's coming to the OG show. I can tell you this 100%. It's happening. We're not doing an OG Roni show without Jill Zaret. It's happening. So Did Jill's going to get that. See, I feel like Ava and Phaedra don't care if they come back. I mean, I know Phaedra. I mean, look, okay, we've talked all about Bobby. She was Bobby Brown's attorney. Bobby they Brown. Care less. Bobby Brown said that Phaedra was thirsty 15 years ago, you know, but Phaedra and Ava to me seem like they don't care. I don't know. Yeah, I think they care a lot less. Look, Ava's busy. She's on the Ricky Smiley show. Like she's working yeah. in entertainment. Yeah. So uh, I, I do feel that. Yes, I feel she is. They're probably the least too thirsty. I, I would agree with that. I would 100% agree with that. And Brandy needs money. So she's thirsty, but I don't even, it's, she'll do take you, the money. I mean, I would be so curious to interview Brandy because do you think Brandy needs the money? I mean, you know, Brandy had one of the original podcasts, like one of the original housewife podcasts. Now that can be a good thing and a bad thing. I think the podcast game has changed a lot in five years when it like five years ago, it was like nothing. Now it's really, and it's even still evolving. So I don't know if her, podcast charts anymore or whatever you've got two t's in a pot you know other things have come in that i think people like new things um do you think her podcast does well and makes a lot of money i'm talking like 300 400 thousand a year i don't i really you don't. don't okay i mean that's just me yeah no i think brandy you know with two sons and i you know living in where she i i think she needs the I'm money to LA. yeah uh, i i think she needs the money okay I do. That's like my honest opinion. Um, what else do we have going on in the world of, um, let me see. What else should we so talk do about? Do you want to stay on like the girls trip? Do you want to talk girls trip? Because when Brandy was on Watch What Happens Live, she also had more tea on the Sutton, Harry Hamlin, Lisa Renna, um, Elton yeah. John thing. Let's talk about that. Well, basically, she says Sutton, Brandy says Sutton's full of shit and that Sutton had invited Brandy's friend Erica also to her table and to the event. And then at some point during the event said, hey, you know, I'd, I'd like if you'd pay me back from the ticket, you know, like, I mean, so basically Brandy's calling her out. It's like, a, you know, she says she has all this money, but point blank asked for money for the ticket from her friend that she invited mind you i think these tickets were eleven thousand dollars weren't they i'm pretty sure that's what i heard probably i, mean, I think they were you know, eleven thousand um that's a very big deal you know this might sound crazy i don't really know if brandy lies like does brandy really lie like is she known as a liar i don't know i don't really think so i think she's shocking and controversial but she doesn't you know I mean, look, I have so many questions for Brandy. Like, who would you rather spend, you know, 